Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Stellaris Utopia. So, now that we are done with the Awakened Empires, we can focus our attention entirely on the Unbidden. They already cleared like one third of the galaxy, <laughs> so we definitely need to handle this. Before they spawn any anchors, we definitely don't want that to happen. But first, before we do anything else, we need to redesign our battleship slightly. Because there are mostly two things that you need to know about the Unbidden and their ships. The first one is that they are all shields, so you need to counter shields hard. And the second is that they are brutal at short range, they will wreck you at short range, but they can't do shit at long range. So what we are going to do is use a fleet consisting of just the battleships with long range kinetic weapons. So let's take a look at our battleship design right now. First we'll change to spinal mount because then we can use the Giga Cannon. It has 120 range, so that's quite nice. And we are going to use Kinetic Artillery only. Kinetic Artillery has 100 range and it does plus 33% damage against shields. And some shield capacitors, crystal forged plating and hyper shields. There we go, plus 5 power. And that's going to be our design basically. Now we need as many of those as possible. There is also an option of using cruisers with some torpedoes, especially Devastator torpedoes, because Devastator torpedoes have 100% shield penetration. So these are also quite nice, but we aren't going to need cruisers. Cruisers are an okay option if you don't have a lot of battleships and don't have the time to build them. You can even go for destroyers with kinetic artillery, since destroyers can use one large weapon, but we aren't going to need any of that. If you can get a lot of battleships, a fleet of just battleships is perfect against the Unbidden, so that's what we're going to do. So now we just wait for the vassal integration to finish, it's only a year away, and we'll build as many extra battleships as possible. As many as we can afford, basically and we should be able to afford quite a few. In fact, we can trade even more energy through the Trader Enclave. Might as well do that. A few thousand. There we go, maybe one more. That's 18,000. And we'll just build battleships everywhere. We can also upgrade the spaceports while we're at it, just to be able to build them on more planets. Some research is done. What can we get next? Plus five years, leader lifespan, yep. Extend the lifespan of our admiral, Admiral Riblog. He's going to beat the unbeaten too. That guy is just badass. Which is why I'm named a planet after him. So, just spam battleships everywhere. Like so. And also, I think we need to land with the transports. Let's have a look, yep. Just move them somewhere slightly more useful. We'll move them to Inegor Prime. We aren't really going to need them anymore, but might as well move them to one of our core systems. Off you go. And that's our only rally point. Alright then. So first of all, we'll need to upgrade all the battleships. And we'll also have to upgrade the battleships that belong to our vassal currently, once integration is done. So that's exactly what we'll do. Meanwhile, more battleships. Give me all complete. the battleships. Construction complete. What do you guys want? Plus 50 influence. We don't really need influence, but yeah, fine, whatever. It's okay. We can probably get production targets on a planet or two, but nah. No need. Just get more battleships. All the battleships. <laughs> oh, and one more spaceport, apparently. We didn't have one here. Alright. Sounds good. So, how's that upgrade? We only need to upgrade the battleships. Let's just separate this fleet right away. So, create new fleet. And it's going to be System battleships separate. only. Pause for a moment. We got 30 battleships here already. Plus 17 from the vassal. And, oh, there's one pirate in that fleet now. Don't need you, sorry. <laughs> yep, one awkward ship. Create new fleet and off you go. 
All right, and now we'll just upgrade the battleships. Nothing else. There's no need to upgrade anything else right now. Merge these. All right. And we'll probably just move these elsewhere. What's this? Oh yeah, transport fleet. Land. There's no more space left. Okay, you can land elsewhere in that case. No problem. Off you go. So, how's that integration? We need seven more months. Construction complete. It's about to finish. I'll have to create a sector, but that won't take long. Construction complete. Where's their fleet? Right here. They got 12 battleships. They had a few more elsewhere. I seem to remember they had 17 total. Alright, keep queuing up battleships. We have enough money. But we need some minerals for the actual upgrade. And how's the mega structure coming along? Let's have a look. Is it done yet? It's 56% done. It won't really be relevant in this game, I suppose. I won't have the time to fully upgrade it. But I'm building it because I can. <laughs> That's mostly the reason. The only reason we need in this case. So, how's our fleet right now? 50,000. We probably want at least 100k on the battleships total, which shouldn't be too hard. That's what we'll wait for. And yeah, let's move these guys out of the system, otherwise the new battleships will keep merging with the wrong fleet. And that's a little bit inconvenient. So remove these and we'll move them elsewhere. Doesn't really matter where. Off you go. Yeah, off you go. Not these. Just the first group. Okay, hold on. Let's try this again. First, merge the battleships with other battleships. And to get rid of this stupid raider. Okay, like so. Merge all of these. Oh, great. Merge with the wrong fleet again. Whoops! <laughs> no, hold on. They didn't. These are cruisers. 30 cruisers. Faction founded. What? Another new faction? Really? Okay. Liberty Now Forum. Really? Okay. Do we care? Probably not. Only 12%. Holy crap. They are really unhappy. Alright, yeah, they are really unhappy. Well, sucks to be them. Oh yeah, integration is done. That's probably what happened here. Okay, so let's pause for a moment and we need to create a sector real quick. Let's have a look. Just grab all the planets. This way. Yep. And in the other direction. How's that? 17 out of 14. Here, 15 out of 14. Might as well add this one too. Can we do that? Well, we probably could, but nah, it's not necessary. This is fine. And we'll add a governor. We can afford it. And change it to research focus. Yep, research focus. And allow redevelopment. However, we shouldn't allow redevelopment on some of the awakened systems, actually. First of all, let's assign the governor. Is there a decent one in here? Yeah, I suppose this guy will do. So which sector was the awakened? This one right here. Okay. Which one is that exactly? This one. Do not allow redevelopment here. But redevelopment elsewhere is fine. Not that it really matters all that much. Not anymore, it doesn't. We basically almost won this game. Once we beat the unbeaten, assuming we'll beat them, this is effectively game over. Because the biggest AI got completely wrecked by the unbeaten. Most of their neighbors also got wrecked. Pretty much everyone is pathetic compared to us, other than Awakened Empires or Fallen Empires in this case. And even the Fallen Empires have inferior fleet power and inferior naval capacity. So once we beat the unbeaten, we can pretty much declare this game over. 
because that's what it is. But let's not get ahead of ourselves just yet. We still have to beat the unbeaten and they will have quite a few fleets. Anyway, let's grab the new battleships. Let's see, first we'll move them somewhere and separate the fleets. We'll just move them here real quick. So grab all of that. Let's see, everything except our main fleet. I suppose that works. Some battleships over here. That's one single battleship. Alright. That's our main fleet, so leave it on Inagor Prime. Yep, you stay here, sorry. Alright, that's that. And we'll also have to upgrade them, obviously. Anyway, more battleships. We got 7,000 minerals. Let's queue up a few. Like I said earlier, I'd like to get at least 100k fleet straight with battleships alone. That should be enough to beat the unbeaten with this design. We will shred them before they even get into our range, most likely. And even if they don't manage to get into our range, Let's say if we end up fighting multiple fleets, we can do as much damage as we can and then use emergency FTL jump and then engage again. But I'm pretty sure that won't even be necessary, unless we end up fighting like five of their fleets all at the same time. Then it might be needed. Complete. But unless that happens, it will not be needed. Anyway, here are all the fleets, just merge them really quick. And then, oh yeah, they also have outdated drives. So let's have a look, let's just grab the battleships and move them slightly to the side. Create a new fleet and give me the battleships. There we go, 12 battleships and there's one more over here. So just split it like this. Get over here. Alright, looks like that's all of it. And I suppose we'll upgrade these guys too. Mostly to give them jump drives. It's a little bit awkward when we can't merge them with any other fleet. And now we send all of these to Inagor Prime. And upgrade what requires an upgrade. Off you go. Meanwhile, we'll just build more battleships. We can trade more energy through the Trader Enclave for minerals. We'll keep 7000. Alright. Battleships. Uh, except not here, because we'll have to upgrade. What's going on? Another new faction, really? Okay. We probably don't care, but let's check what they are all about. Church of Spiritual Philosophy. Okay. And they are not very happy with us. Having spiritualist values be reflected at all levels of government will please the Church of Spiritual Philosophy. No, sorry. Not going to happen. Setting foot on any tomb wars will upset them. Well, sorry, we already did before you even existed, so now. Ships upgraded. Also, I think we should change the rights of all these new pops. Let's have a look real quick, because they will be unhappy. Yep, let's have a look. Set rights. We can change their living standards to sh social welfare for now. And then we can always change it back. Alright. Sounds good to me. Back to our fleet. Let's finish the preparations first. Some upgrades. Where are you guys? Still arriving. Come on, chop chop. The war is waiting. It won't wait forever. We got some unbeaten to kill. More battleships. Give me all the battleships. Alright, time for some upgrades. What requires upgrades? You require upgrades. Construction complete. Ships upgrade. Merge this. That was quick. Oh yeah, they have to take the long way because they are using hyperdrives only. That's why it's taking so long. Obviously, they don't have jump drives yet, because we have to upgrade them 
in order for them to get jump drives. That's the whole point. Where are they anyway? Right here, I think. Maybe? No, I think they just arrived, actually. Let's check the list. That's going to be slightly quicker. Oh yeah, there they are. Oh, they didn't actually move, right. I didn't even move them. Whoops. My bad. Let's just upgrade them on that system. There's no need to move. It's going to be faster. Upgrade. And merge with other battleships. These are already upgraded. Alright. Off you go then to Inagor Prime. Alright. Is that mega structure done yet? It should be almost done. It's at 85%. Alright, carry on then. At least we'll finish it soon ish. Where's that system? Right here. So, upgrade faster, thanks. Ships upgraded. There, they are upgrading now. Alright then. A few more battleships while we wait. Or one more, I suppose. Complete. This should complete. be enough once we are done with all of this. How's research? Anything fun coming? Yeah, well, sort of. More shields Systems and more hull points. Complete. Cancelled auto exploration. Nothing else to survey. All right. And what can we research next? Anything that's actually useful? Battleship assembly yards. Yeah, I would say that's actually quite useful. A little bit late for it now, but there, twenty thousand strength on that fleet now. So let's merge it with our main fleet. Is that going to be one hundred yet? Yes, that's over one hundred now. All right. Nice. That's going to be enough. But we can still build one or two more if we want to. I don't want to wait too long because I don't want the unbidden to get any anchors. Because then we will have to destroy the anchors before attacking the portal itself. Plus 10 opinion. Sure, why not? Oh, and since that scientist can't survey anything anymore, let's just move him somewhere slightly more useful. This guy. We'll need him to analyze the debris from the unbidden <laughs> once we beat them up. Oh, and it also needs to be upgraded to a proper jump drive, apparently. Okay. Fair enough. So, upgrade then. Okay, do we have another science ship somewhere close ish? No, I guess not. This guy is still surveying, apparently. Alright. If you say so. I guess that guy does have a jump drive. Doesn't really matter, I can always grab the guy from our home planet. So, let's go then, there's no need to wait any longer. One last merge and one last battleship, because it's literally already here. And that transport fleet needs to go somewhere. Oh yeah, we finished Sentry Array. Nice. We can't land over here, just go elsewhere. We can land on our home planet. So, Sentry Array, there it is. It's done. Now we can upgrade it for 15,000 minerals. That is a lot of minerals. It's not super useful without the upgrades. So, yeah. But I wanted to build it regardless. Anyway, the unbidden, let's go to war, shall we? Yes, let's. First, we need to move the Admiral. Here, how old is he at this point? 125 years old, alright. Is he actually our oldest leader? I'm curious. I think he is. Yeah, he is. We have a scientist who's 160 years old, but yeah, he's our oldest leader. Well, I hope he will live long enough to beat the heck out of the unbidden. So 100 or... Wait, hold on, wrong fleet? Wrong fleet, 130k. Let's go. The first thing we want to do is to catch a few fleets in individual fights. 
What's going on here? Oh yeah, there's a fleet over there. That's our science ship. Alright. See, we want to catch a fleet like this. In a separate fight. And there are some fleets over here as well. What's this? That's also a science ship. Okay. Let's move it out of here, shall we? And we can assign a scientist here. Let's grab that scientist from the other ship. Where's that other ship? One of these. Yeah, this one. We can just disband the science ship. We don't exactly need it. Not really, we don't. Okay. Assign. And upgrade. Get over here. Right, there's no planet in this system. That's the Dragon's Horde. You know what? Screw it. Let's just build a new science ship. These guys are kind of useless. That's going to be a much, much faster way of doing it. In Agor Prime. And then we'll assign the scientist. So, science ship. Alright, let's go. And beat them up. I'm looking forward to seeing this fight. Should be fun. There's a fleet. Looks like it just jumped away. Literally a moment ago. So we need to engage them at long range. That's important. In fact, that's the most important thing about fighting them, more or less. And we might as well continue building battleships, you know? If we lose a few, we can use some reinforcements. First of all, Trader Enclave. Some minerals. Alright, and let's start a few more battleships. Yep. Good enough. All the battleships. That's enough. Alright. So, where are the unbidden? Where did that fleet go? Which direction? We could actually use that upgraded sentry array right about now. Over here. Come on. Yeah, oh, right here. Let's see. And over here, too. So, three different fleets in the area. Okay. Let's see if we can catch them before they leave. They are jumping. Systems yep, they already jumped. Where are they going, then? Three fleets in this one system. Well, that would be a pretty good test right here. Not sure if I want to fight all of them at the same time. But what the heck. We can always use emergency jump. And this is going to be a perfect test. Because once we attack the portal, we will definitely have to fight a few fleets. So let's test it, if we can actually jump in. There. Oh, I think that's just one left, the other two jumped away. We didn't catch them. Hey, get over here. <laughs> Clearly they are scared. Well, we are following them. From the looks of it. Carry on, there we go, no? Still no. Well, that's slightly awkward. But like I said, we don't want to fight at very close range, that's bad. Where are you going? Okay, let's move slightly to the side. Hey, I wouldn't mind if they jumped towards us. I wouldn't mind at all. Now we can jump from this direction. And right, more shield hit points. What else can we do? Energy weapon, attack speed. We can reveal a resource, plus 20% armor is not bad. Sure, why not? Looks like we're playing cat and mouse with them right now. Yeah, I think they will jump away, or maybe not. Okay, they are attacking, and it's just one fleet. The other two jumped away. Okay, this should be fun. I'm pretty sure we'll shred them completely. Especially when it's just one fleet against all these battleships. We got 65 battleships. Let's see if we shred them before they even do any damage to us. Yeah, we might not even lose a single battleship here. But even if we do, we'll have some reinforcements. Yep. They are gone. <laughs> they just evaporated, more or less. Like I said, they can't do shit at long range. But they are brutal at short range. If you have to engage them at short range, you're going to have a bad time. That's basically what it is. 
And now we'll grab our scientist to analyze the debris, because we can unlock some fun weapons. Grab that guy from Inegor Prime, assign the scientist, and let's go. So grab the scientist, and off we go. Let's analyze that stuff. Where was it? Down here. Wait, was that it? Yep, that was it. Off you go, let's stay here as protection. For now, there is one more fleet somewhere around here. Because there were three, not two. They have to be around here somewhere, clearly. Also, I guess we should keep working on the planets a little bit. Okay, upgrade all of that. And we got another tradition. Oh yeah, I guess that means we should open a new tree. So, discovery or diplomacy. None of these are really going to be relevant in this game anymore. So... Yeah. Adopting all discovery tradition increases research speed by plus 10%. Leader skill levels increased by 1. Okay, sure, we can get discovery. Carry on. Let's wait for that scientist. And then we'll kill Moran Biden. I think we pretty much got this, unless they have a lot of fleets. But even if they have a lot of fleets, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to handle them. 123k worth of battleships should be enough. And we are still building more battleships right now. We can just send them here while we wait. Yep, let's just send them here. Because what else are they going to do? That's why we are building them in the first place. And we'll need as many as possible before we attack the portal. Off you go. Hey, hold on, wrong system. That's the scientist. Come on, do your job. I think we still need some research stations around here. Let's see, let's grab some random construction ship. That's inside our territory, yeah. And some research outposts. Yep, we still need a few improvements from the looks of it. And a few over here too. Is there a construction ship nearby? Probably. We do have a few. Are they actually upgraded? To jump drives? They should be. Yes, this one is. Okay, so let's just go improve a few things while we wait. Where was it? Right here. System survey complete. Anomaly, 20% failure chance. Okay. Right, improve all of that. I'm just queuing it all up. Construction complete. Done. What do you want? They will give us some influence. Fine by me. Research complete. And there's the research. Battleship assembly yards. What can we get next? Should we just research synthetics? I mean, I guess we could, or we can get kinetic weapon attack speed. Because why not? Debris Merge the battleships. And we analyze the debris. No, I don't want to do that. Merge. What's going on? We got a plus six physics science modifier, all right. Not in a system that's relevant, but okay. Spend energy credits to attempt to stabilize the planet. We don't really care about that. Right, let's pause for a moment, we got attacked. What was that supposed to be? Leader died. Oh, they killed our scientist. That's not very nice. How rude. Well, I guess that means we need to hire a new one. Whoops. Here's another fleet. Let's just go and handle that. And we need a new scientist. Along with a new science ship. <laughs> Sorry, guy. That happened. Let's handle this. We might jump in a little bit too close. Construction complete. Construction complete. Now it's fine. We'll shred them. 
RIP. So back to Inner Gore Prime. System survey and we need to hire a new scientist, I suppose. Is there anyone decent in here? Plus 20% survey speed. Sure, why not? And let's go again. He might need an escort if that happens again. But he did have an escort. They killed him in the same exact system our main fleet was in. It's just that our main fleet was a little bit too far away to protect him. Let's go. Alright. Let's park a little bit closer this time. I'd like to finish this already, but I also want to get the research credit. A few more battleships, and let's trade some more energy. What happened again? Scientist died at 162. Yeah, we have to hurry up while Riblog is still alive, you know. Because he's older than that. And that scientist just died a moment ago. Let's grab a new one then. Plus 5% research speed. Yep, sure. Honestly, I don't think we need an escort anymore. Is he almost there? Oh, okay, he's almost there. Just one more jump. It's quick enough with jump drives. Scientist gained a trait. Good for her. Alright, analyze that junk, thanks. Can we research it soon? Well, soon-ish. Sort of. At least I think that's going to be in physics, as far as I remember. Not in engineering. Are we there yet? It won't give us anything new, just more progress. There. More progress on extra-dimensional weaponry. And we can just go now. So, let's go. Towards the portal. Hopefully we'll be able to catch another fleet or two. Yep, here's a fleet over here. Just one. Let's see if we can catch them. Yes, we should be able to catch them just fine. They aren't actually moving. They are sieging a planet from the looks of it, or destroying a planet. RIP. <laughs> yeah, that was rather one-sided. A few more battleships? Yep, sure, why the heck not? The more the merrier. How's our limit? We aren't even close to our naval capacity limit. So, to the portal, let's go. There's no anchor yet, that's good news. We should be able to handle like up to three, maybe four fleets at the same time. I don't know how many they have left exactly. Construction we'll check it out. We'll move close enough to be able to see the surrounding area. And if they are close enough, we'll try to attack them first. Okay, there's one fleet in the system itself, but as soon as we attack the portal, any other fleets will jump towards it. So, if we can catch one fleet outside of the system, at least one fleet, that would be helpful. If we can't, that's still fine. We can always use emergency FTL. That is always an option. System survey complete. Alright, I'm not seeing anything else. There are almost definitely more fleets just further away from the portal. Alright, let's jump in. And finish this. Just one fleet over there. And we'll attack that fleet right away. There's the dimensional portal. More debris analyzed. And research. Oh yeah, that actually finished the matter disintegrator. It's a pretty nice weapon. It ignores 50% of armor and it has plus 50% shield penetration and 80 range on the large version. It's quite nice. I would definitely use it. 
if I had the need to. Yep, we'll shred them. Situation. Before they get a chance to do anything. Yep, more fleets arriving. It's not going to help them. Yeah, they didn't even manage to destroy one single battleship. And here's another one. Okay, now we are getting attacked by two fleets at the same time. What do you want? We are busy here. Monthly unity, okay. How's our curator bonus? Do we still have it? Yes, we do. Right, let's focus on the fight. I like the fireworks. Will they manage to destroy any battleships? Okay, they destroyed one. We are down to 68. Oh no! 68 instead of 69. What will we do? Hey, stop interrupting us. That's just rude. Yep, they are gone. And now we can destroy the portal. So we lost a grand total of, what, one battleship? From 69 to 68. <laughs> okay, more fleets, but we are about to destroy the portal. It's going down. It's almost down. Come on. There we go, dimensional portal destroyed. Nice, good job. Another one for Admiral Riblog. How old is he now? Let's see, he was 170 something. He's 178 years old. <laughs> that guy is just badass. And now we'll just tear the two remaining fleets. And that's a lot of crap left. <laughs> I guess we can analyze all of that, but there's no need. And so the Unbidden are gone, and also one third of the galaxy is clear to colonize for us. If we wanted to get, let's say, Conquest Victory. Hey, hold on, no, Domination Victory. 45 out of 114, but this is effectively game over, the way I see it. Because, I mean, we destroyed two Awakened Empires. We destroyed the Unbidden. The Unbidden first mostly destroyed the strongest AI and most of the neighbors. So the Star Regime is like a shadow of his former self. No one can really compete with us. Everyone has pathetic relative power, as you can see, with the exception of two Fallen Empires. And even the Fallen Empires have inferior fleet power and inferior naval capacity. I could probably take on both of them at the same time. So this is basically game over, we won this. That's it, that's game over. So I hope you enjoyed this campaign, it was quite fun, especially towards the end. I quite enjoyed fighting the Awakened Empires and the Unbidden. And the Admiral Riblog will always going to be a highlight of this campaign. So thanks for watching and joining me, and I'll see you next time.